where everyone is selling an image, playing a role. For the past 14 years, Brian Neal has been playing a role worthy of an Academy Award. For the past 14 years, Brian Neal was Natalia Gervais. I'm an actor, and I guess it was probably one of the greatest roles I've ever played in my life. Natalia Tish Gervais was the darling of New York's jet set. An attractive, buxom bombshell, she had talent to match her stature and a circle of friends that made headlines. But while Manhattan was falling in love with Tish Gervais, Brian Neal was trying to find himself. I've done a lot of internal work. I've changed a lot of things, you know, no pun intended, but I've changed a lot of my inside. Brian suffers from a condition known as gender dysphoria, or gender confusion. As a child, he was often mistaken for a girl and chose to play with girls and girls' things, much to the dismay of his conservative family in Providence, Rhode Island. I mentioned that uh, love was a four-letter word that was never used in my house. What I did get was a lot of negative images, a lot of negative uh, enforcement from my father, my mother, my brothers, my sister, you know, don't be a feminine, don't be a sissy, you know, fight, go out there and, uh, you know, don't, don't, don't. As a teenager, Brian became more promiscuous, acting out on his confusion and spending time with gay friends and transvestites. Faced with negative response from his parents and a lack of positive role models, his confusion grew. I mean, I tried to be gay when I was 18 years old, and I was first coming to New York, and I tried it. I really, and, and I tried it earlier. I tried it at a very early age to see if that was it. And at that age, it just didn't seem right for me because I still felt like I wanted to be beautiful. I wanted to be a woman. After moving to New York, Brian began dressing as a woman and wearing makeup every day. He legally changed his name to Natalia and began taking female hormones. The estrogen um, made a, a dormant effect on any male hormones and it accentuated any female hormones or added female hormones to you and it made your body, uh, your skin softer and, uh, you know, your breast would enlarge. But for Brian, it wasn't enough. Still feeling incomplete, he decided to pursue reassignment surgery and took the first step to becoming a woman, breast implants. I went to a doctor in New York and illegally um, uh, obtained silicone injections, which were illegal in the 70s and late 70s. Um, and I had a lot of complications with them. I got uh, most of the silicone removed, and I was able to get um, implants from the same doctor. And it turned out very well. It turned out so well that Natalia Tish Gervais became a hit with trendy Manhattan night spots. A singer and actress, she earned rave reviews and appeared in countless magazines as a member of the In Crowd. Tish Gervais, a.k.a. Brian Neal, even got married to a member of the U.S. Army. We agreed that, you know, he'd help me save the money for the surgery, and, and I married a man. I married him. Priest and everything. My mother, his mother, his family, my family, a couple of members of my family. The marriage failed and Brian returned to New York. He had yet to undergo the final surgery and lived in fear that someone would find out. But few people, not even the men he dated, had a clue. I've dated a lot of men. I've had lots of affairs with men and some celebrities. And I was so comfortable sometimes with what I had become that I would forget to tell them. So I would just go out with them and <laughs> I forget to tell them, you know. And then, you know, when it became intimate, of course, I would have to, like, well, you know, this is a story, guys, and I was, I was met with some very interesting reactions. 
Unfortunately, the most common reaction was rejection, and that, coupled with his own uncertainty about going through with the surgery, led him increasingly towards drugs and alcohol. Luckily, Brian, with the help of his true friends, survived. He sought out therapy at a clinic that specialized in sexual identity problems, and after much soul-searching, decided to integrate both the male and female aspects of his personality, but remain a male physically. He stopped taking hormones, had the implants removed, and got his drug and alcohol addiction under control. Today, he continues to pursue acting and has written a book he hopes to get published soon. It seems that Brian Neal has learned to accept who and what he is. I'm not denying that I, I like men, that I'm not, you know, gay. I'm not denying that. But it's still new. I like myself. I like myself a lot. Wow. You have to wonder how the guys who dated Brian feel about his life as a woman. Right now, it's time for an evening magazine quiz. What does the PT in PT...